The view from the Vysotka on this cold and wintry day here in Moscow is this magnificent building behind me, the Russian Foreign Ministry, which was built more than 50 years ago at the height of Russia's Cold War paranoia. But today, Russia's foreign policy is very much guided by more practical considerations of realpolitik. Two days ago, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, in this building, gave his annual press conference where he outlined Russia's policy, particularly on American interference, as he saw it, in the Middle East, and efforts to topple the regime of Bashar Assad in Syria. Now this is something that Russia has been very keen to avoid and particularly in mind Russia is afraid of so-called color revolutions where pro-Western regimes come to power through perhaps uh, violent street uh, protests. But in reality Russia's policy is guided much more by economic considerations. If there is a certain amount of instability in the Middle East that regimes may waver but not topple, this actually keeps the oil price very high at $100 a barrel to $120 a barrel and this keeps Russia's economy booming along. Now here we are in the middle of a presidential election on March the 4th, Vladimir Putin will be seeking a record third term in office. So it very much is in Putin's favour and Russia's favour that the oil price in the Middle East stays high with a certain amount, but not too much, instability there. This is Tim Wall for the Moscow News with a view from the Visotka.